When night falls again over the great house at Collinwood, a full moon will rise in the sky. Knowing this, Quentin Collins has lived through a day of inner torment. In desperation, he has called on a gypsy to help him, for he believes that his own death may be the only means of escape from the terrible curse with which he must live. All right, go to my desk. Top right hand drawer. Go on, Magda! I don't just stare at it. Pick it up! What is this for? It contains six silver bullets. I can't escape from here tonight. If I break away, I want you to shoot me through the heart. Now, you promise me you'll do that. Yes. Yes, I, I promise. Quentin, I must speak. Get out of here, Tress! Get out! No. I think I'd better stay. Magda, get him out of here. Let's go. Oh, no! Oh. I won't ask you why this gun contains silver bullets or why you've manacled yourself. I think I'll just wait and see the answers for myself when the moon rises. <laughs> Two most loquacious people I know, utterly speechless. We, we, we both got to get out of here, Trask. Only one of us is leaving, Magda. You. Now listen. You're to going me, to Trask. have to get used to doing what I tell you, Magda. Your involvement with this man beast has placed you completely at my mercy. I intend to deal with you right after I attend to him. What are you going to do to him? To him or to you? Both. I am going to dispose of Quentin altogether. I haven't decided your fate yet. Go to Charity's room and stay with her until I send for you. You better do as he says, Magda. Oh! Oh! Go! Imagine what this is going to look like in the newspapers, Quentin. One of the staid and proper Collins. A creature of the supernatural. A maniacal murderer. I can hardly wait to see the look on Edward's face. If you don't get out of here, Trask, you won't ever get to break your story to the newspapers. And why not? If you stay here while the transformation takes place, I'll cure you. Thanks for the warning, Quentin. Still have nearly an hour before the moon rises. That gives me plenty of time to take you in to the police. They're going to know the whole story soon anyway. We might as well let them watch the transformation. <laughs> You're enjoying yourself, aren't you, Trask? But you know, you've forgotten one important detail. And what is that? If you take me to the police, there's going to be a double scandal. And you're going to be in it up to your neck. Oh, well, I see you don't have to dust off your memory. <laughs> you still have that piece of paper? With your signature on it. A confession to the murder of your wife. That paper is a fake, Quentin, and you know it. I know it. 
and you know it. But the police? Well, well, well. <laughs> you don't know about them. You know what they say. They uh, tend to believe everything in writing. Where is that confession? Don't ask such a stupid question. Where is it, Quentin? I want it. <laughs> you want it? Go and look for it. Tell me where it is, or I'll kill you. Here and now. Oh, no, you won't. If I die now, the curse is ended, and the transformation won't take place. I don't believe that. Shoot me and find out. Turn around. What for? Just turn around. Angelique, come quick. What is it? What's happened? Everything. Trask. He knows all about Quentin. What? Yes. You got to do something quick before he takes him to the police. Where is Trask now? He's in Quentin's room right now. And he's got the gun with the silver bullets in it. All right. Now, Magda, you must try to keep calm. Oh, but I can't. It's going to be dark soon. I'll take care of Trask. Don't worry about that. Now, just come with me. Stalemate is ended, Quentin. I have that piece of paper now. Why'd you bring me down here? Why didn't you just take me straight to the police? I may not have time now before the moon rises to get you into Collinwood. I will witness the transformation myself. And then bring the police here to see you in your other form. You're as good as dead right now, Quentin. Police. I don't know about that soon enough. Do you know where Trask's room is? Yeah. Well, go and get me something of his, something that belongs to him, some close personal possession in hurry. Yes, Jewel of antiquity, dispatch your powers of reflection through these flames. Bring me an image of those I seek. Show me where they are. This moment. It's all right. It's, it's the first thing I found when I went into his room. Yes, his reading glasses. Yeah. That will do very well. Tell me, do you know where Quentin is? They have him. Trask has him. 
in the basement cell. And we have very little time. Leave the room now, Magda. Why? What are you going to do? Leave the room! Mr. Trask, you will hear my voice, but only in your mind, for I am going to enter your mind, and you will not be able to resist me. Your willpower will crumble before my commands, and your mind and your thoughts will be under my control. You will do what I tell you to do. Another half hour, Quentin. Only 30 more minutes. Now, Mr. Trask, I am taking control. Now. Your mind belongs to me. You must accept that. There are no other choices open to you. You will lift up the pistol, Mr. Trask. And you will take the pistol to the drawing room. Trask, what are you doing? When you get to the drawing room, you will know what to do. Trask, where are you going? Answer me! Tonight, there will be another full moon. I can no longer bear the thought of changing into the animal and spilling more blood. I must take my own life. It is the only escape for me. find Quentin Collins. I have not seen him. How curious. I was certain you'd know where he was. I do not. Charles Tate has just finished this portrait of Quentin. I consider it a most extraordinary likeness. Let me show it to you. Talented man, Tate. Don't you think, Mr. Uh, Mr. Trask? Mr. Trask? Oh. Decided to prevent you from pursuing your duties. I won't have that, Mr. Trask. 
You must come within reach of your triumph, but only within reach. The ultimate triumph for tonight will be mine. And I shall have it. No, no, I don't, and I swear. Ah! Tear your gypsy ah! heart out before I'll ask again. Upstairs! Quiet and through. The pistol, Mr. Trask. Take the pistol in your hand. And raise it to your temple. At the count of three, Mr. Trask, you will pull the trigger. One, two. You live dangerously for one so lovely, my dear. What are you doing here? I tolerated your interference once before. I cannot tolerate it again. Tonight is far too important to me. As it is to me. Do you know what will happen to Quentin if Trask is not stopped? Yes, I do. And you want it to happen? Yes. Well, I do not. I will not allow Quentin to be sacrificed. You will do just what I tell you to do. So much for your petty black magic. Now Mr. Trask can resume his duties. I will not I know your spirit and temper, my oh. dear. Don't think I dislike you. Quite the contrary. The fact is, I find you most appealing. And now, while Mr. Trask recovers his wits, let me show you something. Don't you find it magnificent? <laughs> oh, my dear Angelique, you mustn't be too angry with me. I do assure you everything will turn out for the best. What is meant to be, must be. <laughs> and now, my dear, I think you should come with me. I don't want to let you out of my sight until after the moon has risen. But it will be my night, you see. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> My night. <laughs> Magda, what's happening? Oh, Angelique, she was trying to help you, but Matofi found out about it. He stopped her. Gypsy! Oh, we got to get you out of Gypsy! Get, get away from that door. Unless you want to go in there with your friend and get a really good view of what's going to happen. No. Well, then get out of here and stay out. It almost worked, Quentin. 
but whatever was happening could not stand up to one who has the Almighty on his side. There is no help for you now, Quentin, and there never will be. In exactly one minute, the moon will begin to rise, and I will be witness to the fact that the transformation took place in my presence. The whole world will know what your secret is. <laughs>